Hi guys, so I'm kind of nervous and excited. I just got the reordered manuscript of my book. I haven't looked at it yet, I'm about to read it. Basically, what I mean is, I'm sorry, also, I'm a mess. I just got back from the gym and I'm ratchet as fuck. What else is new? I wrote all the poems and I submitted them to her and she put them in an order that she thinks looks nice in the book and feels nice in the book. Now, the hardest part about making a book is the disagreements that you have with like the editors and the publishers, <laughs> especially with something that's a poetry book that's completely artistic, you know what I mean? So when you send something like that to an editor, it's not checking spelling, grammar, and stuff like that, it's changing your meter, changing a little bit of a rhyme, or putting it in an order that you feel doesn't feel right. My editor's great, but there's always those little things, especially when you're like an artist like myself. No, I'm just kidding, but like kind of. That's not gonna feel quite right. Like I've been going back and forth on the cover for like <laughs> two months, right? Yeah, something like that. And I actually just got a cover back that I really, really like. So I'm gonna be showing you guys the cover soon, which I'm really into. I'm gonna sit down, I'm gonna read this draft. Wish me luck. Hi guys, I'm here with Anthony An Padilla. Oh, I didn't know oh, if I was supposed to say, say oh, my oh, name. You what? can say it. Hi guys, I'm here with... <laughs> Anthony Padilla. That <laughs> wasn't staged at all. <laughs> all right, so Anthony came because he's starting his own channel. Yes. Which, well, you had your own channel. Right, but it's like an official launch. Revamping. A revamped official launch. A resurgence. A resurgence. A resurrection. I like all these re-words. Rebirth. A rebirth. Ew, that made me think of afterbirth. Anyway. Oh god. <laughs> we just shot a video for Anthony's channel and it's actually really funny because I'm in it. <laughs> I like I said actually <laughs> surprising that you it mean would obviously be. funny. Yeah, yeah, that's what I meant. But this is actually really cool because I was just telling Anthony, I've been a fan of Anthony's since two thousand well, two thousand five, right? Really? Was that right? You were a fan right when we when first you started posted making videos? your first Pokemon video. Oh my or god. Or it wasn't your first video, but it was the Pokemon video yeah. and it was trending and then I clicked it and I was a it big, was big Pokemon page. fan and I also loved emo boys and I was like, <laughs> Oh my god. This is the one. And now it's twelve years that was two thousand five, right? It was two thousand five, yeah. Yeah, so twelve years later. He came to my apartment to film a video, and I think that's really yeah. cool. And I hung out in there for way past my welcome. No, it was totally fine. He <laughs> he was like sporting his footage. It took so fucking long. It was really cool to hang, but make sure to watch the video. I'm going to have him linked. Uh, this vlog probably isn't going to be out until this was already out anyways, because you guys know how I do my vlogs. But yeah, make sure to watch it. And Andrew's going to edit it. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> you so, like, lonely over there. <laughs> he also filmed it. All right, bye, guys. What? What's wrong? Well, this notebook. Yeah? That contains like 10 little pieces of paper is $14. <gasps> so. You know how many sushi rolls you can get with that? A lot. This is 20 bucks. I don't understand. $20. What are you even writing in there? I don't know. Is the idea that if I spend way too much money on a notebook that like I'm gonna have like, I have to have like these amazing costs to write down? I could go to a dollar store and get the same thing for much, much get cheaper. 20 notebooks because it's 20 bucks. Right. Should we go? <laughs> David just caught the table on fire. I thought he was cleaning it with the sanitizer, but then he set it on fire. You're ruining the table. Do it again. Thank you for coming. I can't. Jason gets mad. Oh, that smells really yeah, not so acceptable. Jason, I don't like that. Josh, I'm taking all the attention away from him. <laughs> I was just getting all the attention. Before. Josh is here! Yay! <laughs> Jason's walking me to my car. So David just did the prank, you're gonna be seeing this after that, where um, I literally cried and yeah. now I'm afraid to go outside. So Jason's protecting me. Yeah. Every time Jason's in my vlog, he always has a moment where he's like so protective. Like the one time I almost hit my head on the table, do you remember? Mm -hmm. And people I mean love my daughter, it. That's why. Uh, Wait, isn't she like I mean, eight? Hi guys, Andrew and I here. <laughs> the style of Andrew and Gabby vlog, because I only have a vlog when I'm with you. Um, we're at the Cars premiere, very early, and we don't know what to do with ourselves for two hours. What should we do? Well, whoa. I don't know. This is actually where VidCon is, so we'll be here in two weeks. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. That's all Content. I got for you. Um, this is what the carpet looks like. It's inside, which is nice because it's kind of chilly out. And Andrew was like, oh, it's going to be pretty warm. He didn't bring a jacket. And later, he's going to want to borrow my jacket. Oh. Women. Oh, look, there's a guy on stilts, but they didn't bother to cover his legs. <laughs> Hold on. Where is it? Right here. Oh, 
he's on stilts where well, they didn't they only covered the part of his legs that were stilts <laughs> not like his whole leg i just need like a table of food to appear okay so update from the very first clip of this vlog is i got back well I, you know i got it back i read the updated reordered poems and i didn't like it <laughs> which stressed everybody out a little bit because now I know that the the editor spent so long on it um, and I feel so bad about it but it's just one of those things where it has to be perfect it has to be right and it's so hard to imagine reordering the poems just because it's hard to see what it's gonna look like with the illustrations and turning the pages and the feel of it and it's so hard for me without the pages with the illustrations to imagine it and put it together so that is where I'm at right now is the pages still are not reordered and if you're wondering um, the reason that they're not just being published as they were written is because I wanted the book to have a very certain feel so like if I was having a sad day I wrote like say four sad poems that day and then the next day maybe I was still sad so I wrote two more sad ones and then the next day I might have had a really good day and I would write like 10 happy poems or funny poems, silly poems, whatever. And I don't want the book to ever be like sad, 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 happy, 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 happy. Like I want it to be like sad, sad, happy, confusing, silly. Like I want it to jump all around. I want your emotions to really roller coaster throughout it. Um, this book was super heavily inspired by Bo, Bo Burnham's book, um, Egghead, which is right up there. I don't feel like standing up right now because you're plugged in. But the feel of his book is so powerful to me because when I was reading it for the first time, and mind you, I'm like a huge, huge fan of his, but when I was reading the book, it would be like this really silly, lighthearted, clever poem, and then I turned the page, and it was like a about a guy hanging himself and his thoughts as he's hanging from the ceiling before he dies and it was like this really heavy change and there were so many times throughout the book where I was like oh my god this is so funny let me take a picture and send it to my sister and then all of a sudden like crying. It's funny how emotions and things can remind you of certain moments like I remember I went to the ER for my wrist when I was when I got the day I got that book so I brought the book with me because I was so excited to read it and I knew I was gonna be in the ER for a while spoiler alert there was nothing wrong with my wrist but yeah I just remember like the feelings I had in the ER reading the book so I like think of the ER when I think of the book anyways cover reveal very 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 soon and also the video where I facetimed people who pre-ordered the book that will be coming out very soon in fact that will probably be the cover reveal um, is that video. So, still suck at vlogging and still don't have a sign off.